Tina. <laughs> Tina, call an ambulance. <laughs> Please, just do it. Jean, Jean, listen to me, darling. We're getting you help, OK? She all right? Does she look all right? Tina! Tina, she's fitting. We need to get her recovery position. What happened? I don't know. She was fine when she was in the gap. The ambulance is on its way. <laughs> OK, Jean, you're still very drowsy, so we need to get you down to a &E. What happened? You were here with her, yeah? No, no, not when she collapsed. We just found her like this. But we were talking with her a few minutes earlier and she was fine then. You weren't just talking, though, were you? What? I mean, it sounded more like arguing to me. But not that I'm casting blame or anything. Why don't you but butt out? Just in case it helps with the diagnosis, it could be stress-related. OK, is there any medical history we need to know about? Uh, she was having chemotherapy. No, she finished that months ago. Well, she does have bipolar, then. Bipolar? Yeah. She's on lithium. That explains a lot. OK, thank you. We'll let the medical team know. I'm going to find Kush, all right? Let him know what's happening. OK? Maybe I could help. I'm not going to tell you again. I make a genuine offer to help and it gets thrown back in my face. And she's still got my cardigan. How is she? What, what happened? Well, don't ask her. She's talking rubbish. The initial tests are pretty conclusive, Miss Lisa. She says I've got lithium poisoning and that I haven't been taking my meds properly. It is very easy to get these things muddled up sometimes. I haven't got anything muddled up. How can I have lithium poisoning if I haven't been taking my meds in the first place? Now, that definitely doesn't make sense. What are you doing here? You took my cardigan. Jean's right. How can she be poisoned by something she hasn't been taking? <sighs> what? What? You have. I have what? Been taking your meds. Oh, don't you start. You just, you didn't know it. Oh, what, have I been taking them in my sleep, have I? No, no, we've been putting them in your food. And your tea. All right, all right, don't, don't look at me like that. We were trying to help you. Help? Yes. <laughs> Most families try and get their loved ones off drugs. Not on them. 